Oh my gosh! Okay, well, Andrew and I are back at the field where we found the old home site. We're at a different section of the field. If you remember where I found that presidential token, used to be the site of an old political polling booth of some sort. So we've decided to hit that today. And then we're gonna head back to that field um, where the old home site was. It turns out that iron thing that Andrew pulled out of the ground could very well be a revolutionary pike is there a special word for it, Andrew? Um, spontoon. A revolutionary war spontoon, which is like a half puck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You can look it up. I'll put a link down below. But it was really cool. So we want to get back out there. The farmer's going to be planting any day now, as long as it doesn't rain. So we need to get out there before he plants. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait till the fall, which is forever away because it's only June. <laughs> All right, well, enough talking. Um, we're going to get dating. Is this a joke? No, it's not. I'm dead serious. Oh my god, are you serious? Don't even, you're like, I'm gonna put a <laughs> copper in your line. No, you're not, because I'm gonna pull a copper in my own line. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Andrew. Watch it not be a copper. Yeah, seriously, watch it be a button. What is that? Oh my gosh, that's something cool. The watch fob. What does it say? Chevrolet. Is that what it says? No. What is it? It says shovel. Shovel! You found a shovel. No, it says. I don't know what this says. S A. I don't know. Can I see? Let's can watch I, Bob then. Can I touch it? Oh, Salvet. Salvet. Worm Destroyer. Oh, yes! You found Worm Destroyer. That's two days in a row that you have been like. I got a, um... Nice. Hang on. Got a pack of cigarettes? Yeah. Where'd you find those? Got the remnants of the house key, too. Oh, sweet. I'm over there putzing with my machines and you're over here pulling out treasures. Yeah, I'm picking up hose while I'm here, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not gonna touch that one. We've got a button here. Ooh, it's two-piece. Try not to squash it, because after yesterday they were all breaking. Careful. Eagle? No. Is it no, it looks like button? more like a like a jeans button. Mm. With a later jeans button. Well that's almost as disappointing as worm killer. I don't know. I like the worm killer. It's a watch fob. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But who would like want that on their watch though, really? Like, oh, check out my cool new watch fob. It's, uh, worm destroyers uh, for livestock. I know. So, I mean, it's an advertising piece. They used to give them all the time. Companies used to advertise like crazy back in the day. They used to give out all kinds of cool stuff. You could send away for things. Salesmen would have, would have samples. Um, I mean, people like free stuff. Nothing's changed. It's true. I mean, if it's free, it's for me. What? If it's free, it's for me. <laughs> if it's free, it's for me. Well, in the spirit of the video, Andrew and I are going to be giving away a Morgan Silver Dollar at the very end of this video. So make sure you stick around and find out how you could win. Well, I just got another one of those little ringy things I got the other day. I have no clue what this is other than a little ringy thingy. Yeah, not so sure. Probably the best signal I had all day in the 80s. I thought, that's gonna be good. And then it's that. But anyway, that's where I wanna go. That is where my home site is. So I said something about to Andrew about walking up there. He was like, why are we gonna walk? Why don't we just drive? But it's a lot of field to cover and I suspect there's probably treasure in between here and there. So, we'll see. 
Looks like he's heading back this way. I don't think he's having much luck either. Oh gosh, it's a long walk. Okay, well we made it across the field. Way from over there all the way over here. Just got my first signal. It's nothing spectacular. I think it's probably a utensil handle, but I decided I'm gonna show you anyway because I don't know what we have in store for today. And if this is the best thing I get, I wanna make sure you see it. <laughs> Isn't that everything you guys hoped it would be? That's Peter. Yeah, I know. Isn't it cool? Peter's always good. <laughs> oh, Andrew. Does it have initials on it? Like Andrew's cool Peter utensil? Oh, uh, John messaged me too. He said the, the initials are the same as his grandfather's initials. Really? I think it had some sort of fancy on it, but I don't think it was initials. So let's keep going. Well, we're still picking signals out of here, which is kind of surprising because we hit this pretty hard over the past couple days. Andrew's got a couple buttons. He's got a suspender clip that matches the one I found. And I just pulled this out. It's actually a really cool nail. I don't usually show you guys nails, but this one's pretty neat. That's old and crude, and I like it going in the keeper pouch. Andrew and I were just discussing the possibility that the home site I found down here actually is not the home site that was on the map. So we're gonna venture off that direction and look for it. But check this out, I just dug this. It's an old one. Show them what it is, Andrew. It's a shoe buckle. Yeah, it is. Shoe buckle. There's where your pin attachment would have been. This is, yeah. That's a... Now tell them why you believe this is not the site that was on my map. The context isn't right. There, I'm not. We're not finding anything that's 1850s and on. Everything is early 1800s, late 1700s. Um, this might might have been the site of their starter home. Just before that clump of trees, you can see that if, you know if you get up on it, there's a nice uh, nice divot in the ground there where where it could have been their little foundation hole. And everything we're digging is over there. The concentration of iron is over there. Things are sporadic over here, um, but nothing nothing is nothing is of the 1850s 1860s context that would make sense. There's no brass utensils. It's all pewter. All of it. Every piece of utensil I've dug out of here has been pewter. You haven't gotten any brass. Nope. Um, early 1800s coppers, late 1700s coppers, flat buttons, tomback buttons, nothing indicates 1850s. And it was on the map in 1858 and it was gone by 1900. So, let's venture off there. What say you? All right, let's do it. Okay, so I got a low 70s signal here. Sounds actually pretty big. I'm nervous now. Ah. That cleans up nicely. Shotgun shell. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it! Put the guilt on that. Oh my god, that would make your heart stop yeah, in my right. <laughs> right. Yikes, look oh, at look that. At the guilt on that. That's amazing! Is there anything on the front? Nope. It's just plain, but oh my gosh, look at that. I'm not going to rub that. the gilt off of it. I'm not going to rub it too A little hard. lemon juice will clean that up. Yes! That's amazing! That's, a pretty, that's the prettiest flat button I think I've seen in right? a long time. Yeah, it's, usually the gilt is primarily on the front. But look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, and now the details for the Morgan Silver Dollar giveaway. I don't actually have the coin on me. I'm not sure what the date's gonna be. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. I just decided randomly, hey, let's give one away. And Andrew happens to be a coin dealer. His business is called Old Time Numismatics. mouthful. I've put the link to it down below if you want to go check out some of the coins he has for sale. Like I said, I don't know what the coin's going to look like, but a Morgan Silver Dollar is a Morgan Silver Dollar. So in order to win, um, you have to be 18 years or older, you have to reside in the U.S., and you have to leave just one comment down below. If you leave more than one comment, I'm gonna have to disqualify you, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, subscription is not a requirement, though if you'd like to subscribe, I can promise that there will be future giveaways that you could be a part of. So I will pick the winner on the date down below. That's the important part. Um, I will be picking the winner and I will post it in a video. All right, good luck. Well, I have a very quick announcement, and I would appreciate it if you all could just contain your excitement for a couple minutes. Um, Relic Recovery shirts are back. Um, I have a new design through Bonfire. Um, it was created by Ella, Audra, and Joel H. They sent me a design, and I forwarded it on to Bonfire and said, can you make a shirt? And they said, absolutely. So I've, um, I've started a campaign through Bonfire for a new Relic Recoverist design. You can go check that out. But also available is a Garrett Girl shirt. I know a lot of you have probably gone onto my website looking for the Garrett Girl merchandise, and I just don't have a bunch of it in inventory. So the solution to that is this Bonfire campaign. So if you're looking for shirts, for the summer, tank tops, sweatshirts, kids shirts, men's shirts, women's shirts, it's all there. Um, so you can go check that out. I will put links down below. This chicken is like getting on my nerve. Look at this thing. Mud. Mud, what are you doing? I'm surprised this chicken hasn't been fox food. I can't see anything. It's like the stupidest chicken ever. Hey you! Okay, have a good night. All right, well, I will catch you guys next time. Deep in the woods, deep in the woods, it was ringing real good. Ten inches down, ten inches down with a solid sound. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna take you home. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon for perks, and down below in the description, you'll find links to all my recommended gear.